In this tutorial, we're going to look at the camera tracking constraint. So, what a camera track constraint will do, it would allow you to move your camera and the camera will always look at a particular object that you've constrained it to. So, for example, if I was to move this cube, the camera always looks at it. This is different than the easy camera setup tutorial that I've got on my YouTube channel. So, if you look, I move this. If I rotate it around the cube, it will always look at it. And if I was to move the object, it will again always look at it, no matter where it is in the scene. Before we jump in, I just want to show you my promotional video for my fledgling series of Blender 2.8 tutorials. Okay, let's jump straight in there. How you go about doing this is very simple. Let's first of all create a new scene. So let's just go File, Default, Low Factory Settings. And now you should have this scene there, just a cube and a camera. So what we wanna do is let's just hide the cube. You can hide the cube by just pressing H key. So now the cube is hidden. Let's create an empty object. So we've got add, empty, let's just add empty cube. The next thing we want to do is click on our camera and then we go to this icon here. This is your constraint icon. Click on that icon here and then it goes add object constraint. Click on the icon here and then go track two. Click, click on track two and then see the eyedropper tool here? Click on that. And then click on this empty cube. It goes, the, the camera just looks goes a bit weird. Don't worry about that. Click up to Y. And then click on the Z. And now, any anytime I move this camera, it's always gonna look at this cube. Let's just move it. If I unhide the cube that we created earlier, and then if I went to animation view, so you can actually see the camera view, and then if I moved it now, you can see that it's always fixed at that position. Okay, it's just a quick tutorial. Hopefully this has helped. If you use this in conjunction with my easy camera setup tutorial, those two cameras should um, do everything basically that you need to do in any setup. Okay guys, I'm out, bye.